What's happening everyone, Noah back here with another YouTube video, here today bringing you all some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the new Fennec gameplay trailer that they just dropped a couple hours ago, showcasing how the weapon is going to be here in multiplayer, as well as showcasing the new Akimbo uh, perk or feature, I guess, to the SMGs, or at least this SMG. We don't really have too many details on how Akimbo is going to work, but we do know Akimbo is going to be here in the game, so I'm excited to see here uh, a little trailer of what it's going to be like so this is a pretty short trailer a minute 16 seconds so this is gonna be a pretty fast video i just wanted to react to this live with you guys since i don't typically cover like new content that comes to the game so i kind of want to get into that so you know we're gonna go ahead and do it here with all of you reacting here to the new fennec which a lot of people are referring to as the vector which yeah i get that because it does very closely resemble the vector but i'm gonna touch up on it a little bit later here in the video to me it really reminds me of the sac 3 from advanced warfare which was basically just an advanced version of the vector um, but that's what it really does resemble to me is the sac 3 uh, so the king of close quarters combat submachine gun with extremely high fire rate and as far as i know that's extremely true this thing shoots fast i've seen this um at the loadout screen 111 default fire rate on the weapon that is incredible that is just insane so it burns through that ammo look at that 25 shots by default is what it looks like comparing the time to kill of the fennec to the msmc and hg40 and then it shows right here the perk, and that's what I was talking about. So first akimbo primary weapon in COD Mobile. So obviously that's what it is. Uh, akimbo is gonna allow you to dual wield two Fennec SMGs at once, which essentially is gonna give you the fire rate of 222. And honestly, I'm thinking this is gonna be like that new specialist that we just got, the equalizer, that's what it's called. So essentially this is gonna be like having an equalizer 24 seven, and uh, you're gonna have the two weapons, 25 shots in both guns. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what you can do with the Akimbo and how effective that's actually gonna be uh, you know, at range. So here we go getting our first gameplay with Akimbo. I wanted to check downsides of Akimbo. Did it have damage of each weapon slightly decrease? So it is going to decrease that damage, which is actually a pretty good balance. Um, but again, it's probably going to be insane up close. Oh, I'm curious if it's going to shoot. Okay, yeah, so it says 50. So you can't, like, single fire both of the weapons at the same time but it is worth noting when you do akimbo you can still lay attachments on the weapon so you could probably do an extended mag which is going to be nuts and then obviously you can make it really good for hip fire accuracy and all that controls are 13 though so this is definitely going to be a difficult weapon to control i seen for a second it said 54 58 rounds so that's going to be pretty good you know fast reload red dot so it's showing us again here what this weapon looks like with just the the one without the akimbo attachment it shreds obviously it's meant to be showing how quickly it kills like these characters aren't even full hp this is a pretty wild looking variant so you have the mip extended light barrel classic red dot rtc steady stock basically this build is to increase accuracy lower mobility which it doesn't even look like it went down too much and then raise up the controls to a whopping 21 percent wow amazing 21 control It looks like it has mostly vertical recoil, though. I'm not really seeing too much horizontal coming out of this. For the trailer, they didn't really do too great of a job controlling the recoil either, so the fact that it doesn't look like it's going to have much horizontal at all makes it seem like it's going to be a pretty good weapon for those who are good at controlling the lateral recoil. Now, quickly, before I end this, I do want to just show you guys what the SAC-3 looks like, Advanced Warfare, because it, it really does look like this new weapon that we're getting. So this is some gameplay with the Akimbo Sack 3s, and this is honestly exactly how I'm expecting the Fennec to perform here with the Akimbo in COD Mobile. Um, so this is going to be pretty interesting, pretty fun, and I honestly can't wait to get my hands on the weapon. We've got two days now until the new season is coming out, and I honestly cannot wait to get not only this weapon, Akimbo, but we're going to be getting Mythics as well, and that's going to be available for the Fennec. So uh, a lot of 
of exciting things are coming here and then of course we're gonna have that entire like one year anniversary event so a lot of hype and i'm super excited so thank you all so much here for hanging out while i reacted to the trailer for the fennec gameplay has been revealed but we haven't been able to get our hands on it quite yet and honestly it's been killing me hope you all did enjoy if you did make sure you go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see a more call of duty mobile content make sure to hit that subscribe button but with all that being said you can go ahead and do it for me and i'll catch you all in the next one